Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy says that the majority of the fentanyl entering the U.S. today is coming from Mexico, which is different from even just a few years ago when it was coming mainly from China. He says it's not being caught at the border and there needs to be more done to stop it. Fentanyl is responsible for most overdose deaths in Connecticut. We had 1,524 drug overdose deaths um, in 2021. 86% of those drug overdose deaths were related to fentanyl. The synthetic opioid becoming more and more prevalent. It's getting into cocaine, it's in heroin, um, we're seeing it in crack cocaine. We've seen a 471% increase in fentanyl seizures in the last two years. And according to officials, it's getting into the United States easily. We think that 90% of the fentanyl that comes from Mexico is coming straight through the ports of entry. entry. It's, it's not being trafficked across unbordered areas of the Mexican-U.S. line. The problem is we're not catching it. Senator Chris Murphy just returned from a trip to Colombia and Mexico to try to get a better understanding of what the U.S. needs to do to try to stop drugs from getting into the country. He says there's been $700 million put into new technology at the border to catch fentanyl, but only 10 percent of that money has been deployed so far. We've got to do a better job of finding and stopping fentanyl before it gets to the United States. He's proposing for the rest of those funds to be used and for an investment to be made into artificial intelligence to try to stop the drugs at the border. And while fentanyl used to mainly come into the U.S. straight from China, he says the chemicals used to make it are still coming from there. The Biden administration, along with Congress, has to make clear to China that there are going to be consequences if they don't cut down on the shipment of all of this precursor chemical into Mexico. Tomorrow is International Overdose Awareness Day. There are several events happening around the state, including health and wellness fairs, resource fairs, and some vigils as well. We have more information on those websites, on those uh, events happening on our website, fox61.com. In the studio, Gabby Molina, Fox 61 News.